The Holy Roman Empire stretches across a vast expanse of Europe. Ruled over by the Emperor, who is crowned by the Pope himself, the Empire's influence is strong and far-reaching. From the moment that Charlemagne was crowned Emperor, the soldiers of the Reich have fought and died for victory. Yet war, even when waged by a holy empire, is still a brutal affair. It is the Germans who wield the most power in the Empire. Though it exists as a shadow of what once was, it will take a great general to lead the Empire to its former glory. Guten Tag, Emperor. I am your advisor, Lady Gwendolyn. I will guide you on managing and expanding the powerful Holy Roman Empire. You are currently looking at your capital city, Frankfurt, on the campaign map. Your goal is to expand your empire through conquest, trade, diplomacy and religion, to build a faction that is far-reaching and powerful. This scroll shows you what you must do to achieve victory and become the Emperor of the Known World. You can view your campaign goals at any time by clicking the highlighted button on the bottom panel of the screen. Although the Holy Roman Empire is strong, it is surrounded by enemies. You will need to contend with the French to the west, the Italians to the south, the Danes to the north, and the Poles to the east. You should first strengthen your position by conquering the rebels to the northeast. The nearby rebel town of Prague will make an ideal first target. You should start by double-clicking on one of your settlements and recruiting some troops. Once you have built up an army, you can prepare to make your first conquest. Left-click on a unit to add it to your recruitment queue. The number of units you can recruit each turn depends on the size of your settlement. Right-click on a unit to learn more about it. Click the Show Me How button to learn about recruitment. The number on the top right of the unit cards shows how many of those units are available to recruit. The rate that units become available for hire depends on the buildings in your settlement. Troops are trained in different buildings at various rates and made available to recruit in your settlement. You can also recruit agents to serve your kingdom here. You can only recruit a limited number of some agents and you must improve your buildings to recruit more. Once trained, your agents can undertake special missions. Left click on a building to add it to the construction queue and again to remove it. Drag and drop buildings to change their position in the queue. Right click on a building to find out more about it. You can only manage the construction of your settlement if a governor is present. Click the Show Me How button to learn about construction. You can obtain better quality weapons and armor for your men by constructing a blacksmith's, armorer's or foundry in this settlement. Once complete, these buildings provide superior equipment for all new units trained here. Princesses can engage in diplomacy with foreign emissaries. Right-click on a character, army or settlement belonging to another faction to enter negotiations. Ja, mein Kaiser. 
Moving your priest into a province converts the population to your religion. Right-click anywhere in a province to start converting. You have selected a target outside the green highlighted area. This means your character cannot reach his target this turn. Provided that an enemy does not block his path, your character will continue on his journey next turn. Right-click to move your army to any part of the highlighted area. Attack by right-clicking on a rival's army or settlement. Merge with a friendly army or board a fleet by moving onto it. Ah, come on. Combining troops. Yeah, my Kaiser. Orders, Kaiser. Yeah. Joining forces, Kaiser. This scroll shows you the details of a general in your faction. You can also recruit mercenaries that are available for hire in this region. Yeah. Mein Kaiser. With each item. Click the Show Me How button to learn how to build siege equipment. Maintaining a siege on a settlement will eventually starve out the enemy. However, in this time, the enemy might summon reinforcements. Click the Maintain Siege button to continue your siege, or the Assault button when you have siege equipment and are ready to attack. To withdraw from the siege, click the Lift the Siege button. Stand to, men! We have work to do here! Also, if we wait, the plague might carry them off fast! When you have cannon-type units in your army, such as bombards, cannons, or basilisks, remember to keep your own units out of their line of fire, or you will blast them apart. Go 
Weapons have knocked through a section of the enemy's walls. Divert your heaviest troops to attack the breach. Make haste or the defenders will be ready and your advantage lost. into the breach and onto glory and triumph. Again, you have successfully used a missile engine to destroy an enemy gate. Quickly send troops through the breach and establish a foothold in the settlement before they can force you out. It is possible to set arrows alight to rain fire and death down upon the enemy. Flaming arrows have reduced accuracy, but are more devastating when they land and have a greater effect on morale. Left-click the Show Me How button to see how to do this. When under fire from enemy artillery, you will suffer fewer casualties if you put your men into loose formation. Left click on show me how to see how to change formation. These walls now belong to the Empire.
your men are in combat, you can make them break off by double right clicking on a point behind them. This can be a useful trick if your men are faster than the enemy's. When using this tactic, however, it is inevitable that you will lose a few men. This battle progresses well for the Empire. Stay strong, and the enemy will be defeated. When cavalry charge, they cause extra casualties due to the momentum of their attack. A cycle of charge, withdraw, charge, causes maximum casualties for minimum losses. Repeat until done. You do not only win a battle by killing every last enemy soldier on the field, you also win by causing them to break and flee. When a unit routs, the panic spreads, and nearby units may join them. This can turn into a mass rout. The enemy has lost half his army. Wunderbar! Our men have breached the enemy's gates! Spearmen from the front is a good way to lose your cavalry units. Attack from the flank or rear, or better still, use some infantry. Left click the show me how button to zoom to your unit. have taken control of the city! The enemy of the Reich lay dead at our feet!
no one shall doubt that we are the victors on this day. You have pressed this victory. Click on the boxes that slide down the left of the screen to view important messages. Right click to dismiss them. Messages include financial reports, family announcements, missions, and declarations of war. Yeah, my Kaiser! If you are unsure of what to build next, click my portrait on the bottom of this scroll for a construction suggestion. For a recruitment suggestion, click my portrait when the recruitment tab is selected. Buildings can be damaged during a siege or natural disaster. Damaged buildings will be shown on the repair tab. To repair a damaged building, left click the building to add it to the queue. Use this scroll to construct buildings, recruit troops, and govern your settlement. More detailed statistics and trade details can be viewed by clicking the Show Settlement Details button at the bottom of the scroll. Click the Show Me How button to learn how to use the settlement scroll. Click on the items on the left to make an offer or demand. Your current agreements with this faction are displayed on the right. Consider the balance of the agreement at hand and accept or reject the offer by using the buttons at the bottom of the scroll. Both wise and generous of you to agree. It would seem you are very reasonable. Farewell. It is a new turn and season in your campaign. Your treasury has been updated, your armies and characters have rested, and your rivals have made their moves. It is now your turn to make your next moves to carry out your strategy. The icons under your settlement show the income, loyalty, and growth of the settlement. Icons will also appear if the settlement is close to rioting, under siege, or has the plague. Move your mouse over the icons for more information. <laughs> 